Hi, I'm Michael Brophy, CEO and an auditor with Certification Europe. I'm involved with auditing ISO 27001 and that is what I'm here to speak to you about today, along with some of my colleagues. We hope the information we provide will help you along the road to meeting best practice and information security, and not only that, but being able to prove it through certification to the standard. What is ISO 27001? ISO 27001 is a best practice standard that provides a framework which allows you to manage risks to the security of information you hold. Providing your organisation, your clients and other third parties you deal with, with peace of mind. Being certified to the standard is what gives that guarantee that your system has been independently assessed and meets best practice and international standards. The standard is truly about information security and not simply IT security, which is a common misconception. Information security is much broader than that, and there are actually 11 sections covered in ISO 27001. They are security policy, organization and information security. Section three is asset management. Section four is human resource management or personnel security. Section five is physical and environmental security. Then you have communications and operations management and access control, information systems acquisition, development and maintenance, information security, incident management. And then we have business continuity and finally compliance. There are also a number of general requirements. Now that was probably quite a bit to take in. However, don't worry, we have a number of video clips where my colleagues and I will take you through each section of the standard in detail to help you understand it better. However, before I move on, I thought I'd just take a moment to discuss with you what your organisation will gain from working to best practice. First of all, it should not make your job more difficult. Quite the opposite. Very often companies think that meeting an ISO standard will mean nothing but paperwork and bureaucracy and they won't be able to get on with their day jobs. That is a common misconception. However, it shouldn't be true. If you implement 27001 correctly, it should make your job easier and allow you to perform even more efficiently. Some of the benefits we have seen ISO 27001 companies experience include Number one, it helps you identify and manage your risks, something which you may not be aware of before ISO 27001. Number two, it's a market entry mechanism. In fact, what we're finding is that ISO 27001 is becoming a condition of contract in a number of sectors, so without it, you simply won't be allowed to tender. Number three, it improves a culture of security in your organisation. It becomes the way you do business. In fact, it becomes the way you have your staff do business so that they just live and breathe information security. It can also be a basis for trust and of sharing information between organizations in a secure manner. 27001 can also be a framework for achieving legal compliance. And many of our clients have found that by having 27001, they could go on to get SOX compliance or comply with data protection requirements or even regulations such as Basel II in a much more comprehensive and efficient manner. Very importantly as well, information security is not just about confidentiality. The acronym CIA is often used in information security. Yes, it's about the C, which is confidentiality, but information security is also about the integrity and availability of information and ensuring that important information in your organisation is available and reliable for those who need it. It's also about gaining competitive advantage. 27001 gives potential clients a reason to trust you over other suppliers. And finally, 27001, first and foremost, is about protecting your organisation from the brand damage or reputational damage that can occur from a major security incident. A copy of the standard is available for purchase in the resource library on our website, certificationeurope.com, which we welcome you to visit. You may also notice other ISO standards that are related to the 27001 family. These include ISO 27001 itself, 27001, ISO 20000, 27002 and ISO 27006, which is about auditing information security. Welcome you to look at any of those. So thanks for listening to this introduction to ISO 27001 and I hope you find it useful. Please take a look at the clips available both on YouTube and on certificationeurope.com, which will explain the sections of the standard in a great deal more detail and offer you some useful tips and guidance. 
I look forward to meeting you as part of an audit one day on your road towards ISO 27001 certification. Thank you and good luck.